How are you feeling, Dad, last day? Uh, I feel great. Um, slight pain in the left knee, slight pain in the right knee, <laughs> slight pain in the back. Yeah, that bit there was very painful. <laughs> My shoulder's hurting. Uh, I've got a sore toe. Apart from that, I'm in good shape. In the summer of 2016, a group of intrepid cyclists took on an infamous, gruelling seven-day challenge in the French Alps, La Route de Grande Alpe. This classic cycling route all the way from Lake Geneva to the shores of the Mediterranean in Nice took us directly across Europe's highest mountain range, the Alps. Our A4D team consisted of Charles, Jerry, John, Bernd and Ollie, five largely inexperienced riders. Each mountain pass, known as a coal, could take up to four gruelling hours to climb and take in 2,000 metres of altitude gain. We were pushing ourselves up two or three of these monsters every single day. We were absolutely delighted to raise 20,000 US dollars to fund A4D's ongoing work with young diabetics in Asia. I can test my blood, um, um, blood sugar and I get an immediate blood um, reading. Y yesterday afternoon I got it totally wrong, I had a massive hypo, I went down to 40 milligrams, I was shaking, I couldn't move, couldn't focus, couldn't do anything, I, just, I knew I was, I was fine, I was wrong, I got off, I sat down, I had three cereal bars. Jerry is fortunate to have the medicine available to him to survive and live an active life with diabetes. Unfortunately, there are many others and many in the poorest parts of Southeast Asia where A4D operates who simply do not have the healthcare to survive with diabetes. With help from our supporters, we can carry on this essential work. Bye, Jerry. trusted partners across Southeast Asia to identify individuals with type 1 diabetes and work to provide long-term free or heavily subsidised medication and supplies to children and young adults on our programmes. We overcame some of the steepest and toughest mountain passes the Alps have to offer and weather conditions that ranged from freezing altitude winds to the scorching heat and sun of the valleys. And finally we made it to Nice in the French Riviera and the shores of the Mediterranean. Hey guys, how's everyone feeling? Yeah, great! We 